So, turns out I'm actually getting married in like two weeks. So, with the stress of everything going on, uh, it's going to be a bit of a short one. Mm. Mm. Wish me luck. Hello everyone, I'm Rob Moore and yeah, I think I'm going to keep it nice and simple this week and talk about outlining fonts in Illustrator and in Design. If you've never sent anything to print before, whether this be because you're a new designer or you've always just done digital artwork, you won't realise the importance of actually outlining all your type. So the reason why I would always recommend outlining your type is when you transfer artwork from one machine to the next. And the reason why there is a certain risk with it is that if you've got a specific font, say for example, what I use with my visuals, Unisans, so all your artwork's been set up with Unisans in it, it looks great, but you haven't outlined the font. If you that, then send that to a different printer or a different machine and they don't have the fonts, when you're opening the file in Acrobat, it will potentially substitute it for something that's a stock font. So say it'll substitute Unisans for Arial. And even though, obviously, it's a horrible substitution, what will happen is if you've formatted your artwork and you've got a beautiful flyer artwork or brochure artwork and you've got everything set in a specific area, it will mess up that alignment, it will mess up that formatting. So it really is key that you get everything outlined before you send it to a printer. So you might be wondering what actually happens when you outline text. All it means is that you convert your text from being active text so you can type and change it to shapes that can't be substituted. Nice and simple, that's all it is. As a top tip, when you've reached the point that your artwork has been given the thumbs up, it's good to go to print. I would always save a working file, so there's still a file with active text and also a separate file that is an outlined version of that file. At least that way, if the client then comes back to you in a month and says, can you change all this text? You've still got a working file. I would always do that when you're saving your files. So let's talk about how to actually do this. So if you're in Illustrator or InDesign, what I'd recommend doing is simply either selecting all the text elements or select all. And then if you're on a Mac, press Command Shift O. Or if you're on a PC, press Control Shift O. And it will do it for you. There you go, straight away. As soon as you try and click on your text again, you'll notice that it's outlined. Or if you wanna go through the normal navigation, you just literally click Type on the top bar and go down to create outlines. That's the same on PC and Mac. And then you simply save your file as an outline file. Nice and easy. That will remove all the risks of fonts being substituted, anything going wrong with the artwork in terms of type. And that is it. That is how you outline your type in Illustrator and in Design. I know it's a really basic one. I said it'd be a quick one, but genuinely the amount of times that that little simple routine that has become common practice for me has genuinely saved my ass so many times when I've sent stuff to print. There's nothing worse than having prints come back from the printer and you've realised that the fonts have all been substituted for some random Myriad Pro Italic. And honestly, it's cost a fortune in the past. So just do that as common practice and it will save you so much headache in the long run. Trust me. So yeah, that is it. I'm going to leave you to it. As I said, I have got to get ready for a wedding because that's happening. And yeah, as always, please like the video if you've liked it. If you found it really useful, please just leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer it. If you randomly found this channel by pure coincidence, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world. If you really want to watch more videos, you want to have updates every single time I upload a new video, click that little bell and you'll get a notification. How amazing is that? So thank you ever so much for your time. It really does mean the world. And I'll speak to you next time. Bye.